Hey guys, welcome to my self care pamper routine for 2024. It's a Sunday reset, pamper, self care, all of that good stuff. So, I'm just going to be resetting my room because what is a self care routine without resetting your space? So, I'm just putting things in order, laying the bed, cleaning the furniture, and just setting the place for the mood before we move into the proper self-care and skincare routine welcome to my channel if this is your first time stopping here i'm yemi abiodun i'm a cosmetologist we do everything self-care skincare here so you want to hit the subscribe button so you won't miss any video i upload and like this video below if you like it and sit back relax why I take you on an adventure of how I do my self care and pamper routine weekly. So after I'm done with putting cleaning the room out of the way, so I'm just picking the outfit for after or the shower. And this is my favorite outfit to wear every Sunday because it has Sunday on it. And that's my fashion over slides. The most fluffy, comfortable slides. So we are doing a clay face mask, which I like to do every week because it helps to clear out your pores and detoxify your skin, which I will get into soon. So I'm filling up my face steamer with drinking water only, clean drinking water only. And I'm just setting everything so that when we're out of the shower, everything is very easy because it's meant to be a relaxing routine, not work. <laughs> so here we are in the bathroom, my little bathroom. My hair is dirty. I just took down the braids from since 2023. Yeah, don't judge me. And I'm about to wash this hair. These are my favorite combo. I don't do a lot for hair care day. <laughs> I have a 4C stubborn hair. And my hair has been really doing good. It has been growing. Like, it has a mind of its own. It's been growing. So I'm just washing it out. Properly washing my hair for the new year. I don't do much. Like I said, I noticed my hair loves those two products, which are by Mega Growth. It's a Nigerian company. And... I have a very stubborn fussy hair and I notice when I use this product it's the softest, it doesn't cut and um, shed so much so I stick to them and my hair is so thick and full and like I said it, she has been striving. I don't like using showers to wash my hair because it blocks my ear. The water just gets into my eardrum and it messes up with my wig throughout the week. So but when I use kind of a bowl I'm more controlled with it. So after washing, I mixed the shampoo and conditioner together. I don't know if that's bad, but I don't like wasting my time. I am now applying deep conditioner, a protein treatment or cholesterol treatment on my hair. This is very good. Anytime you take down your braid hair and you're about to wash it, try to throw in some kind of treatment, protein treatment. It really helps your hair. Um, with physical damage and any kind of damage it gives it strength so that's something i've learned i'm now washing my face and i'm using i'm back to the CeraVe normal to combination skin face wash because the weather has been dry just like winter here it's been dry we're in the hamatan season it's been very cold and very dry and CeraVe works for me at this time because it's not stripping yet to get the job done. 
for our first cleanse i'm using the, this bio oil odor control soap bar soap and i'm pairing that with my african net sponge this does not have any good scent to it it just helps to clean wash up the dirt remove odors and all that good stuff So for body scrub, I'll be using the Dr. Teal's um, Sugar Share Sugar Scrub in Citrus. This contains essential oils. I love to lean into Dr. Teal's products when I'm having a relaxing shower routine or relaxing self-care routine. Because Dr. Teal's pride themselves in essential oil, but particularly the ones that really calms your nerves, help you relax. It just helps your mind. Like inside my bathroom now feels like a whole aromatherapy section. So I really, really, really love their scrub. My favorite for this is actually their Epsom salt scrub. I was out of that one, so but I had this um, citrus smelling um, body scrub. Don't forget your elbows, guys. Don't forget your knee and your elbows because they get very dark. The key if you battle dark knees and elbow is exfoliating properly. If you can even exfoliate them every day, cool. And if you want your nails, your elbows to look like your full complexion or your skin altogether exfoliation is key next concluding my shower routine which is the second cleanse i'm using the dr teal's body wash uh sleep body wash this contains a blend of essential oils that help to just calm your nerves and it contains melatonin melatonin is a is a substance our brain produces when it's time to sleep just to relax and take it to sleep it's a dht blocker within the brain so putting it in a body wash is just mind-blowing i also have the spray and this helps to knock me out helps just calm all the nerves and cause relaxation and for feminine hygiene i'm using the best and ever feminine wash by my brand so after shower i'm going to be doing a foot peel today I discovered this last year and I've been obsessed with it. So I'm just preparing a foot soak because for the rule of doing a foot peel, you must soak the foot in hot water before doing. And I'm applying, putting some Dr. Teal's in the water again because of the aromatherapy benefit. Like the entire room was filled with citrus scents, which are very relaxing. Now i like to use this tool i got about three years ago randomly in a supermarket i can just uh, around my house and it's a machine is operated by battery or you can use electricity and it just helps this thing is game changer best decision ever the way it removes the dead skin on the feet it buffs it out but you must use it dry so i do that before soaking my feet in the hot water yes it must be hot water so we're going to proceed with a clay face mask. I love to do a clay face mask once a week when I'm not doing my dharma planning at home. So this is me doing it. And it's bentonite clay, which is the Indian healing clay. Bentonite clay is the king for clear skin. If you're talking clear skin, <laughs> just leave it for bentonite clay. It helps to clear out your pores. Is it white hair, dark hair? What is it? Bentonite clay is the goat. So I just mix it. You can mix it with apple cider vinegar. You can mix it with ordinary water. But the rule is not to use anything metal. You can use plastic. I think you can even use your hand. But nothing metal. Because the elements, the ions are going to react. So I'm just applying that to my face. To let it sit. It shouldn't sit nothing more than 15 minutes. Which is going to dry up and squeeze your skin together so i'm just taking the ample time to apply that on my face while my feet is soaking So I'm done with the feet soak. I've removed my feet, rinsed it out, and I'm my skin, leg, feet is ready for the exfoliating mask. This is what it looks like. Okay. 
I got them from an Instagram vendor, which I can't remember. Uh, you just open them and put your leg in it. But you must soak it with hot water. So I'll just be wearing the leg mask like on my leg. And you're meant to leave it on for an hour to two hours. So uh, sadly, I'll not be showing the uh, concluding part in this video because I had it on for a very long time. Next, I'm going to be using some absorbent toilet to clean the excess water on my face and move on with my face skincare don't worry i'll drop an in-depth video on my skincare routine i like to also use my fingers to apply extend my skincare products underneath my eyes i don't use eye cream because again like i said they're just marketing gimmicks to get your money out of your process what it is next i'm going to go into my gua sha face massage because i tend to have a puffy face very easily and i've added a little bit of weight from the christmas celebration my birthday was just eaten here and there and i'm a little fluffy and that's okay i'm your queen of having double chin and a puffy face so this really helped to drain the lymphatic system on my face and i love it so much and i'm back into my routine just to get that baby girl face back yeah that's basically what i'm doing so once i'm done with that i'll be applying my sheet face mask to put in more hydration into my skin so many people like to apply these then complete the, conclude their skincare after that um, i just like to do it the opposite sometimes i do it that way but it's what it is <laughs> i don't care because i don't use a face cream so it's basically using a bunch of essences and serums on my face so anything goes yeah so i'm just applying the face max to my face and just aligning aligning everything properly so once i'm done with that i'm heading to the third mask we're going to be using in this video and this is a hand mask i first saw this thing on lavishly jackie on instagram with jackie aina and i was like mm, i'm going to find it and i got this on aliexpress and i've been enjoying it since last last year best decision ever do you know that your hands show earlier signs of aging than our face because it does a lot for us and it's just the most neglected part of our body because it's helping us to do so much we forget to really care for it so i'm very intentional about my hand care so there i am just i've changed into my sunday lounge wear and i'm just showing you that this is the body lotion i use but somehow it's cut out from this video somehow i don't know how come but this is the body lotion i use and it's by dr tills it's a sleep lotion for the body wash with the melatonin and the chamomile to really help you calm and relax next is our nail section i'm being obsessed with gel pressons because they are classy i don't like acrylic i feel it's meant for people going to war <sighs> i just like i discovered this and i've been obsessed these are gel pressons they are very soft extremely comfortable they are classy i love classy just leave me with my french tips forever thank you i just like classy soft gel polishes pressons and all of that they are classy they are timeless they go with everything and i just like them so to do this is pretty simple i have this cute mini hand dryer i just buff out all my nails this is going to help how long the nails persons are going to last i found that it lasts well then i go ahead this is how they come there were a lot of them this is how they come i take them and they have the thinness thinness <laughs> attachment to your nails so it looks like they are growing from your skin they are extremely soft compared to acrylic that are just very hard so i just go in to find the one for which finger which is pretty easy and once i have found all the feet and everything i arrange them so it's easy for me at this point Is 
so after that i'm going to get the base gel the base gel is applied to the already buffed nails and i cure that under the mini dryer for 60 seconds that's one minute this is just it's going to help to like protect the nails and help to make sure you have a longer wear of your press-ons so that's i'm just curing it under the dryer for 60 seconds and this cute mini dryer is travel friendly you can connect it to your power bank like i'm doing here and it works very well and i like the fact that i don't have to put all my fingers inside because of the uv light that darkens the knuckles and all of that so i really like this a lot and this kit has been helping me save a lot of money so yeah after curing all the nails i go in with the glue the glue is not your regular liquid glue. This is beginner friendly. It comes like a gel or play doughy kind of texture. It's a very solid, thick gel. I apply it to the base of the presence and I apply some on my action nails. I'm sorry for the angle. Um, I'm placing this. I'm really, really sorry. I was trying to pay attention. Then you align the tip of the or, or, to the to your nail bed like i just align it like that before pressing it down that way there's no air bubbles and because of the thickness of the glue no air bubbles and it's uv gel so i cure it under the uv light for another 60 seconds So after doing it for all the nails is then I go in with the beige gel again. The beige gel just kind of transforms the softness of the press on and they become hard. They give immediate texture just like the way your acrylic will look like. And I cure that beige gel under the dryer again. Go over every nail and it kind of sets the style so that there's no scraping, no chipping. Everything lasts long and you look put together. Yeah. So that's what I'm trying to do, applying it on all the nails. I also remember to apply it under the tips, the tip under your nails because that is where <laughs> the peeling and the cracking actually comes from if you want to be honest. So I care that under the dryer. And the last step is the top coat, no wipe top coat. Like I was, I decided that I was even going to show you guys with keys scratching this nail. You will use keys and nail to scratch this thing and this top coat there will be no scratch so the way i apply the base coat i'm applying it again and i'll carry it under the dryer what this does is that the nails are extremely shiny the gloss is high it's like you just left your nail tech and it keeps the same energy until the 30 days 28 days to 30 days that you are going to have this manicure on until it falls off it falls off it will always have that glossy sheen to it it's really beautiful and the anti-scratch was what blew my mind the most because that's the problem i always have when i fix acrylic and any other thing when there's a little scratch digging your hand in your handbag it looks very old and worn out and this is the complete look guys just just look at this if i did not tell you i did this at home i was just coming from a nail talk won't you believe it is the way they look like they are growing for my nail bed for me that's the game changer it's like a new in innovation and technology gel presence they just look like they were growing straight from your nail but look very realistic no need to shape or file anything very easy and straight forward and straight to the point um i've been obsessed with this and i've been saving my money saving my money and that concludes my routine